Do you ever create a note in Evernote and wish you could share it with people who don't use Evernote? In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you how to do that. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you a way to share a note that you have created in Evernote with the rest of the world without them having to install Evernote first. Now this is one of the problems that a lot of applications, I understand why applications do this because they want to in increase their user base and that's perfectly fine, I have no problem with that. But sometimes it will cause resistance from the people that you're sharing the note with or whatever it is that you're sharing. They don't want to install the application or maybe they're using an office computer that doesn't allow them to install the application, in which case you're kind of screwed. So in this week's episode, what I want to do is show you a trick that Evernote, in their wisdom, I believe, have done, which allows people to actually view the note on the internet without having to install the Evernote, Evernote application and without having to become a member of Evernote. I'm going to show you how to do that in this week's episode. Before we go into Evernote though, if you do learn something new or you find this episode interesting and you find some value from it, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that little like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would consider it to be a huge thank you if you would subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into Evernote now and I'm going to show you how to share a note with the world. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a note that uh, people can use for onboarding. Now this is just an example, it's just an example. I mean, you can create whatever you want. So there's a clickable link in there. So step one is take the free uh, COD productivity course. Links are there. And then you can actually uh, choose. There's a few little questions that you may want to ask after the taking the course. And then there's what changes would you like to take to your daily habits. And then step two is implement the COD flowchart, which again is just an image. And then step three is take your Digital Life 2.0 online course, which is the full details where you get your areas of focus, your goals, your routines and projects all built into your system. Anyway, that's the process. So what we do now is we need to go into the uh, button up at the top here called share. Click on that. Now you're going to get a few options. Now normally the shareable link is actually clicked off. So you turn that. So normally when you come to this, uh, you're going to find that the shareable link is off. So you have a few options. So permission can edit and invite, uh, can view, can edit. Uh, you can change that. So I would probably change that to can edit. I'm going to turn the shareable link on. So anyone with the link can view, which is not exactly what I want. I want them to be able to edit, but that's not necessarily going to give me the option to do that. <clears throat> So there's a few options that I can do. I can copy the URL, which I'm going to do now. Now, more sharing options. You can actually copy the internal link to this note right here. And I think that is exactly the same on Windows. That's something that I hadn't noticed before. So maybe that's just come with a recent update. So now you can copy the internal link. The internal link, what that means is, is that if I copy the internal link, that won't give me a website URL. That will give me an internal link, which means that when I click on it, it will Will automatically open up in Evernote and I'm pretty sure that option is perfectly available on your Windows device as well. Enough. So there we go. That's the controversy sorted out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Uh, I've copied this link here. I'm going to close that and what I'm going to do now is show you what happens. So if I open up in Safari, so we opened up in Safari, I'm going to highlight, put the, uh, the note link in there. And what we've got now is I've got all my images, I've got all the things and the, you know, they can they can check. No, they can't. <laughs> um, but the idea is that they have all the details that they want in here. These links are certainly uh, clickable. So you can click on that. They can click on the other link down there. And so they you have a nice up to date viewable note that you can share with anyone. And I really like the fact that Evernote do not force people to download or, or uh, join Evernote just to take these notes. So you can share this with anybody. Of course, 
your computer does detect that you have Evernote, so you can actually click on there, view in Evernote, which is fantastic if you already have Evernote on there. So there you go. That's how to do that. You can share it with anybody, whether they're using Evernote or not, they can do it fully online and they've got the full note and you can use this for project meeting notes. You can share this with anybody. Uh, you can share this, uh, as I say, onboarding, which is like an example I have here. And you can do so many different ways and just sharing notes and ideas with people. Okay, hopefully that has given you a few things to think about, about how you can get the most out of your Evernote. Don't forget, if you really enjoyed and learned something from this episode, I would be so grateful if you would hit that like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would consider it to be a huge thank you if you would hit that subscribe button also. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course, and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.